I look tired, bro. I woke up really late today. Um, mostly because I was banging your fucking mother all last night. Jesus fucking Christ, who says that to another human being? Uh, no, I woke up really late today. I didn't get to, like, shower and stuff before stream. I bought an arcade machine, and it gets here today. And I have to be here for it. Yeah. Can I stream from the arcade machine? Um, probably... level is it a four person arcade machine yeah oh yeah oh yeah so it's got a trackball it's got whatever that little knob up there is for see right there it's got pinball so i can do virtual pinball see that little button that's lit up right there above my logo which i'm really really stoked on because i do i love pinball but getting a pinball machine seems a little excessive the only thing i don't like about it is this like the up that it says arcade classics a really corny font i kind of wish it just be grand food bear but that's fine yeah, but there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of games. Yeah, you need another cabinet, Killer Queen. Uh, I got a, my, I know someone that does have a Killer Queen at their house. Killer Queen is like one game I'd love to have at my home. Like, it's my favorite, it's legit my favorite arcade game. My fa One of my favorite games in general, um, in all the video games. I love Killer Queen so much. But it's just the problem is, is that having 10 people at your house is just very unrealistic sometimes. Interesting. Interesting level. And well, yeah, I don't even have 10 friends in my in my town. Uh, well, I can put Steam on it if I want. The Cadillac of arcade machines. You're goddamn right. Oh, fuck me. Why did I do that? I got too aggressive. Shouldn't have done that. Damn you. No. Yeah. Really like the layout of that boss room. I kind of did too. I thought that was pretty kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really hoping it gets a lot of use. I kind of feel like, you know, my son and his friends will play on it a lot as they, as he gets older. You, you know, when I have buddies come over, we'll play it. Um, I feel like it'll get a good amount of use. And also like, you know, I'll just play it. Yeah. I mean, automatic DMCA systems are just not where they need to be. I don't know. It's hard because it's like, it's too easy to file a complaint right but at the same time it needs to be somewhat easy so giant companies can't just steal your shit and get away with it that's it's hard Dead Space win? Uh, this October, actually. I'm committing to playing Dead Space this October. Dead Space is probably the most, one of the most recommended games that I've never played, you know? I also would really like to play, replay Silent Hills this year. I wish there was like, just like hot graphical remake to Silent Hill 1 and 2. The first two Silent Hill games are still to me the scariest video games I ever played. Yeah, I would agree with that. I play fantasy football? Yes. I'm in two leagues, a streamer league, which is pretty traditional, normal rules, stuff like that. And then I'm in a, um, a league with a bunch of my college buddies it's been going on for 19 years. And it is a two player keeper league with auction draft. And um, we have $100 for free agent. So you don't like have like a waiver wire. You just like put in like, I'll pay this free agent $10. I'll sign him to a $10 contract. You know what I mean? That's how it works. Hello? Can I not go inside this? We only keep two players a year, though. And they cost. What the fuck is this?
Good comedy. Good comedy. Good comedy. Really good comedy. Top tier comedy. See, Chad, if we would have looked at the world record, we would have realized that. That's why you can't pause. What is fantasy football? Uh, it's football and robes and wizard stuff. Uh, no, fantasy football is you draft, like, real players, and based on how they perform in their real games, you get fictional points, and so you have teams compromised of players from all over the league. Yeah. Like Quidditch, then? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a nerd thing. It's it's it basically yeah, it turns it turns football into a game of pure numbers and statistics. I did trade Derrick Henry last year. I traded Derrick Henry for Najee Harris last year. I don't mind the trade, it wasn't bad trade. Like it would have been hard for me to pay Derrick Henry again this year. But Najee Harris in our league's not cheap because rookie running backs tend to go for pretty high. Uh but I do like Najee Harris. Still, because he gets so much volume, but that offense is going to be struggling. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, chat. Oh god. Oh god! Dude, my toes were dragging. My toes were dragging. Love the drama. Icy cave. Uh, I don't want to point out the fact that this is not a cave, but I feel we'd be wrong not to. Okay, now it's a cave. Doing fantasy football with a bunch of people from finance is the worst because there's just spreadsheets on spreadsheets. <laughs> uh, we have a new commissioner this year and I, I really like him. He's I mean, all, everyone in my league has been in my league for so long, but our new commish, he hasn't commished yet. It's like, basically, like, our, our rule is, like, everyone's got to commish at some point, or you got to buy the league something stupid. And he hadn't commished yet, and this man's organized. I like him. No! <laughs> that wasn't good. Have I watched the show The League? Yes. Everyone that's in a fantasy football league has seen the show The League. Oh my god. That was me going too fast. Oh! You drafted during the last preseason games? We draft... We draft the last weekend of August this year. We're getting together in Lake Tahoe. So if you're in Lake Tahoe the last weekend of August... And you see, I think there's eight of us. Eight of the ten of us will be there. Um, and you see eight guys, eight old dads running around, drunk as fuck. Considering it's Lake Tahoe, there's still only about a 60% chance of us. Okay. Uh, don't forget one's gonna have an ice pack. Uh, no, I'm gonna change. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta change my. Thank you actually for reminding me. After I get off today, I gotta call and change the date of my vasectomy because I talked to the guys about it. And uh, it got a no from the league. Basically, they were like, no, you, you can't do that two days before. Oh. Come on. Well, and we're supposed to go like golfing and fishing and shit. And, like, I don't want I don't want my nuts to feel bad while I'm golfing or fishing. Now, if Lady Pooh gets pregnant, I can blame the league. Not really worried about it. 1980 Pac-Man. If you are married, you can't wear jerseys of another grown man. You're basically saying it's you'd be okay with a dude banging your wife. Okay, that is that takes some really like twisted fear of you know 
whatever logic to get to that point. And also, yeah, Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders wanted to bang my wife. I don't know what you listen. I don't know what podcast you're listening to, but you need to stop, dude. Just your take. I think your take is fucking ridiculous. It makes no goddamn sense. That is a stretch. That's some Carrie Strug level mental gymnastics. Shit! That auto. I still moved. If you're so worried about your masculinity that you're like, no way I could wear a Tom Brady jersey. You might bang my wife. Like, you, dude. I don't know, man. Now you're banning your wife from watching any movie with a guy in it. She'll cheat out of you through screen. Yeah, if, you're, if your girl watches football and thinks a quarterback's cute, does that mean she'd bang him too? Like, what? I, I just don't. Where does this stop? Where does this logic stop? I don't, I don't own, I, I have NFL jerseys, but I don't wear them. But I wear NBA jerseys pretty often, honestly. Subbing to Pooh is like saying, yeah, if you sub to me, if you sub to me, you're basically saying it's okay for me to bang my wife, your wife. Honestly, if you're watching me on TV right now, or you're watching me at all, you're basically saying that. That's why I only vote for female politicians, guys. Because you voted for a male politician. You're basically saying it's okay for him to fuck you. Hockey sweaters are good, but they're sweaters. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with hockey sweaters. Problem with soccer jerseys that are covered in ads. They're literal ads. Yeah, you're never, like, unless you're a hardcore Premier League watcher, you don't know whose jersey it is. Woo! All jerseys will be ads within four years. Too much money on the table. I mean, it's happened in the NBA as well. Imagine a world where streamers wear ads. Yeah, that'd be weird. Oh, the NBAs aren't really bad. I wouldn't say like their advertising's bad yet, um, but that's pretty recent. But it does look like really weird to have like a Boston Celtics jersey with a big fucking GE logo on it. And the Wish.com Lakers is just funny. Like, especially given the Lakers' current, you know, roster. General curiosity, am I contracted to wear Red Bull merch as part of my contract? Okay, I'll be real. They don't... Red Bull does not have any sort of rules or regulations for me at all. Um, they absolutely, I think, prefer if I wear their hats um, when I'm doing things. Uh, lucky for them, I'm a hat guy. But what Red Bull does to get around requiring you to wear any of their stuff is they send you a lot of their stuff and it's all such fucking high quality stuff. These hats are physically better than new era hats. I also have unlimited access to it. Ooh. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's go. Mario Maker 2. It's been since July 2nd since we talked. No, it has not, has it? Actually, I believe it because I. Where is it? Where are you, Mushroom? Mushroom! Mushroom! What's on the live tour for golf? Oh man, I like the live tour is, uh, it's really hard for me. Cause on one end, Saudi blood money. That's not good, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a fan of the Saudi blood money. On the other hand, like, Saudi Arabia is not gonna change by being left alone to themselves. Like it's only going To change because economics forces you. Like, let's, let's just be real about it. Like, nobody, nothing changes in the world unless it's forced to buy cash, right? So, that's a hard conundrum. The other hard conundrum for me is, is when it comes to Live Tour, is the PGA is bullshit. The PGA is underpaying their players. 
pretty blatant the PGA has been underpaying their players for a long time. It's a shitty organization. Um, you can enter golf tournaments and lose money. And if you're a pro golfer, would you go with the tour that you could potentially lose money each week? Each weekend. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck was that shit? What was that shit? So it's hard for me. It's very, I think it's very easy. Like just to the live tour. I think it's very easy to be like Saudi blood money bad. I think that's a very easy statement of it. I think it's so much bigger and deeper than just that. And I think if you always just say Saudi blood money bad or everything Saudi bad or you can never interact, you can never have anything happen in Saudi Arabia. No one can ever go to, you know what I mean? How are, how is it ever going to get good? Right? It is true. To fix problems, it does require interacting, forcing people to open up their areas. And sometimes if they make a large investment in something and then you're like, oh, by the way, if you want this investment to pay off, you got to let women fucking drive, you fucking weirdos. Things don't get better if you ignore them. Exactly. Exactly. So I struggle with that. But yeah, it's hard. It's very, very fucking hard. Oh, what the fuck? I bounced back. Why did I bounce backwards on that? Eat only hot dogs for a year or shave both eyebrows. Oh, how long does it take for eyebrows to grow back? And does it, would, would your eyebrows, if you shave your eyebrows, do they grow back like, like kind of like facial hair does? Like crustier? Or would I still have nice soft bushy eyes? Do you have to eat the same brand of hot dog? Are the hot dogs provided? Do you have, yeah, there's a lot more questions I have about the hot dog too. All right. One. Lose a finger of your choice painless or have a permanent limp painless. That's tough. That's tough. How bad is the limp? Uh, yay. yay. Well, no, it would be a painless limp. Yeah, would it affect, could I snowboard and skate? with the limp no 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 is this just no 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 go 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 and like are we talking like down to the knuckle are you choosing pinky or ring finger i'd probably go pinky right Maybe not. Yeah, maybe the ring finger. Maybe you go ring finger right then. Whee. Whee. I got lucky there. Oh, fuck me in the dick. Uh... Gotta be wary of pipe. Yo, Yuri Wan Kenobi, thank you again for another 10. What the fuck? He's, he's blind me off with Saudi blood money. There used to be a, uh, like a Saudi prince that donated to a bunch of World of Warcraft and Hearthstone guys. Am I dead? Shit, chat, I might be dead. Oh, now I'm super dead. Oh yeah, now I'm really, there's no way I can win. Chat! Reach the goal after grabbing all one coin? What the fuck is this shit? You can't walk without pinky toes? Are you sure you can't walk without pinky toes? Yeah, the guys out there that are like, oh my, I'd never have a girl that did OnlyFans. I'm like... What? You don't want a girl with all the free time in the world? Make money and take you on nice vacations? And has a large selection of hot lingerie? Okay. You see more dicks than your girlfriend thanks to group showers and saunas. Old man, it's only old dudes too, dude. It's insane. 
I don't know what world they grew up in. I think they think because their belly's hanging over their dong, no one else can see it. They all look like the World 4 King in um, Mario 3. Dude, this challenge is so fucking stupid. Who came up with this? God damn it, Barb. Why did you invent this challenge? G Fuel is worse than Saudi blood money. <laughs> Shit. Dude, that was bullshit. I think the NBA is also just like, right now, the NBA's just got, man, there's like 17 guys in the league that can, that are just 1A guys. You know what I mean? The NBA is just so strong right now. Like, everyone's ability to shoot in the NBA has just made it so wild. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on... Wait, what? What? Why? Why? No. The truth of LeBron versus GOAT. Uh, I, I, or LeBron versus Jordan GOAT. I think it's Jordan. I also think it doesn't matter as much as people want it to. Yes, you know what I mean? No, thank you for not killing me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think the real truth of it is like Jordan probably dominated his era more, but the real truth of it is LeBron James with 20 more years, 30 extra pounds, a couple more inches is probably a better basketball player and would have dominated in an ungodly way in the 80s and 90s. A lot of people don't want to just accept that humans are bigger, fun bigger, faster, stronger now than we were in the 80s. Well, it's just, they, just people take care of themselves. Like fucking the Pistons used to, you know, they used to, the 80s Pistons would, you know, work out for 20 minutes a day then go smoke two packs of cigarettes, drink a hundred beers. You know what I mean? Take the whole off season off. Yeah, this is not, this is, you know. It's not like that anymore. Plus just the general lack of cocaine. <laughs> Wait, no! 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 It disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the thong flip flops. I'm a slide guy. If I ever want to design a shoe, um, I don't know, maybe LeBron's a political hack. Oh no, he's got a he's an athlete with opinions. Oh my god, some of them are complicated. A few of them revolve around money. I bet you're also a political hack. It's just for some reason you think that your opinion is worth more than. His. Weird. A lot of people think their opinion's worth more than mine, too, now. Like, they just want me to play games and dance, baby. Yeah, just play games and dance. Yeah, so anyway, moving on. Suck it, Bowser Jr. Xenoblade comes out in nine hours? Oh, really? I wonder how big it's gonna be. She's like, yeah, I'm not gonna be around this weekend. I'm gonna be Xenoblading. I've never gotten into Xenoblade. Nintendo said it's the last chapter from the Xenoblade saga. Um, unless money dictates they need another one. Who never uses clickbait titles? I love clickbait titles. I love clickbaiting you guys. I need the views, baby. YouTube's hard. YouTube's tough. Speed run. Renzoid. Okay. 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 
really question on the speed run they were doing there. I hope you enjoyed that endless run what other rule sets would you like to see us run in endless let us know in the comments right below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you know, throw us a like if you enjoyed it or a dislike if you hated it whatever 